On Tuesday, Mainers will have the opportunity to help determine the fiscal path of our state. There are five bond issues on the ballot, and you will decide which funding initiatives are important to you and our state. I would like to take a moment to talk about two of the bonds and the benefits of each. Our roads, bridges, ports are important economic drivers that help create jobs, but the federal government is flat funding transportation projects. Now is the time for the state to invest in these much needed infrastructure improvements that will create jobs and stability for the construction industry. It is why I propose a $100 million transportation bond. The initiative provides critical funds for reconstruction and rehabilitation of highways and bridges and for facilities such as ports, harbors, marine transportation, freight and passenger railroad, aviation and transit. It will create jobs and make Mainers more attractive to employers. Construction unemployment currently in Maine is at 26%. A $100 million bond would support an estimate 2,800 good paying jobs in construction and related industries. The second initiative I supported provides $14 million to maintain and upgrade our armories. We owe it to Maine's military services to provide them with the updated facilities they deserve. Many of these buildings were constructed in the 1950s and are not configured to accommodate today's guard force, which includes female soldiers as well as soldiers and community users requiring ADA accommodations. Additionally, state funding shortfalls since the 1990s have resulted in accelerated aging due to lack of preventative maintenance. This funding will provide safe and modern working environments for our soldiers and airmen. Give our citizen warriors access to facilities they need to maintain our advantage in current operations and prepare for the f uncertain future and respond to unexpected emergencies. The state of Maine has finally paid nearly $1 billion in welfare debt owed to our hospitals. Mainers demanded politicians stop ignoring the bills and do the right thing. With your help, I continued to push to pay the debt until the job was done. Now with this massive debt off the books, the state of Maine can invest in important projects. These are projects that will provide a good return on your investment and will strengthen the Maine economy. Ultimately, the decision is up to you, the people. It is my hope you will get out and vote because it is a responsibility we all share in helping to move our state forward. Thank you for listening.